The biggest races of the night were the governor's race and the campaign for the open Senate seat. With Senator Saxby Chambliss not seeking re-election, it was a crowded field on the Republican ticket. 41 NBC's Tracy Armbruster joins us now with another look at those two races. Tracy. That's right, Skyler. In the U.S. Senate race, we still don't know who will run against Democrat Michelle Nunn in November. The Republican nominee will be decided in a runoff election in July, and Governor Nathan Deal will campaign against the grandson of former President Jimmy Carter. Tuesday's primary election knocked out two candidates hoping to move from the U.S. House to the U.S. Senate, Paul Brown and Phil Gingrey. And with former Secretary of State Karen Handel's loss, there is no chance of two Georgia women facing each other for the open Senate seat. U.S. Representative Jack Kingston will face political newcomer and businessman David Perdue in a July runoff. I've been involved in fixing big problems all my life. I just think if we want to send, if we want different results in Washington, we have to send a different type of person to Washington. Michelle Nunn is hoping to follow in her father's footsteps to the Senate. She's the daughter of former Senator Sam Nunn of Perry. We don't yet know who the candidates on the other side are going to be tonight, but we know that these candidates are all in a race for the extremes. They're embracing acrimony and inflexibility. And it's the, that kind of, uh, of, of uh, absolute failure to be willing to work together that is causing Washington to be so dysfunctional. In the race for governor, another candidate from a political family is also hoping to move to a higher office. Jason Carter, President Jimmy Carter's grandson, is gearing up to challenge incumbent governor Nathan Deal. During his speech election night, Deal focused on job growth, which has been the forefront of his political platform. With your help and that of the General Assembly, we have attacked the problem that our state was confronting by simply saying we believe jobs are the most important thing that government can help do for the citizens of Georgia. Not to give them a job, but to create the climate whereby private sector employers can provide the job opportunities for them. In Georgia, voters will head back to the polls on July 22nd for the runoff races. The general election is in November. Now remember, you can stay with 41 NBC for the ongoing election coverage.